Hello, this is Chris Menard. Microsoft Outlook for the desktop has just had a refresh this month and it is March 2020. I'm going to run through some of the new features and a lot of them are just great features. They all apply to the calendar in Outlook. So feature number one is when you're looking here at the different times. Now I have three time zones running. You may only have one. That's okay, but you can show three now. They added AM and PM, because I'm in Atlanta, all the way through, because at some point the AM and PM would disappear, and people could possibly schedule a meeting expecting to schedule it for 9 AM, but schedule it for 9 PM, because it didn't say 9 PM. Another new feature is when you're looking over here, I've got my work schedule as from 7 AM to 5 PM in the Outlook options for calendar. If you notice, it's grayed out at 5 a.m., 6 a.m. So it's an easy way also to see your working hours. Little tip, if you go and change them, which is File, Options, Calendar. I actually work from 8.30, so I'm going to make this 8.30, to 5 o'clock, Monday through Friday. I encourage everyone to put in their correct working hours if they know, because if someone comes in at 10 o'clock, I'm not scheduling a meeting with them at 9.15 or 9.30, because I believe the default is 8 o'clock to 5 o'clock here. But when I hit OK, I changed it from 7 to 8.30. It doesn't change until you click outside the calendar, so I'm going to jump back to my mail, go back to the calendar, and now it'll be 8.30, right there. Cool feature. Uh, another new feature is called the Time Indicator Bar. If you notice, today is the 30th of March, and it's right now 7.40. That is that bar running across right there. So if it was Friday at 740, this bar would go all the way across to Friday. I love that feature, actually. Another cool feature is they've just updated how it looks up here at the top. They've also made the current date stand out. Today is the 30th. As you can see, it's got a blue border around it. Uh, a couple other new features. If I start going across the next weeks, to get back to today has always been easy. If you're a keyboard person, it's Control-T. That'll take you to today. But a lot of people don't know that keyboard shortcut. They put today right here next to the navigation arrow. So if I click today, I jump to today, and there is the time bar indicator. The next tip, and by the way, you're saying, well, Chris, can I always click today up here and go to? The answer is yes. One, a lot of people didn't know that. Two, you may not be on the Home tab. You may be on a different tab up here in the top left. That's why I like that today's here. Another new feature is I'm on the 30th. I can see this event here. I threw in some appointments slash meetings. I want to know how many more appointments I have today. I have a plus five down here. That is called a badge. So that means I have five that I'm not seeing. So if I start scrolling down, it went to four. There's the next one. So I should have four more. Let's see if that's right. One, two, three, four. And it works the other way. I have three that I'm not viewing. So it doesn't count this one right here that because I can see that I've got something here. So there's one at 2 p.m. The second one is at... 11 a.m. and the third one is at 9 a.m. and again I'm back to 5, 4, so those are called badges. Really cool feature. Let me pull up my little list here, make sure I'm covering everything. A.m. and P.M. I showed you, shading, time bar indicator I just covered, badges I just showed you, the today feature. Oh, I've got three more easy ones here. These are really simple. If I want to swap the calendar, I'm in week view. They added a drop down over here to the right. I can swap to work week, which only shows my work days, Monday through Friday. I can swap to month view. It doesn't matter. I'm going to go back to week though. Uh, one more item is if you mouse over an event, it'll only give you the critical information instead of giving all the details. So I got the date, the time, the location, and my reminder showing for this event. And finally, the last one, 
I don't actually use this one a lot, but a lot of people do. It is called Schedule View. Schedule View takes all your appointments or meetings and runs them across instead of up and down. So there's Atlanta, London, and Chicago. There's today's date. I'm in Atlanta, 9 a.m. So now I'm scrolling to the right. This comes in really handy when you're using the scheduling assistant for meetings. Anyway, those are the new updates for Outlook Calendar. If you don't have these updates yet, they just rolled them out, so probably Office Insiders have them first, meaning you'll get them soon, but these are all great new features for the calendar. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Keep the questions and comments coming. Have a great day.